Morning goose folks. You've probably seen this in the afternoon or evening, but whatever. Today is another Wednesday, which means I have the day off, which means we might as well make some more bad decisions, right? Today, we got the truck running, getting ready to hook it up to the trailer. You guys saw some live videos. The uh, Elantra is sitting right there, so I need to move that back a little bit, get it closer to the garage. Because that space that I've got cleared right there, well, I cleared that because I have three vehicles that I need to pick up today. Not buying anymore, right? Yeah. Nah, no, I'm going to buy three, three at a time. How's that sound? we got to take a trip. Go pick up a couple cars. Two of them are in Nina. One's in Merrill. Got some driving to do today. Get this trailer hooked up and get on the road. All right, we are set. Trailer's loaded, or well, hooked up. We gotta go get it loaded. It's hooked up. The Google set. Mile. Turn right onto County Highway J. County Highway Y. See? Radio. No, oh, no, she's got country on. We gotta change that shit. There we go. Let's head to Nina. See you there. All right, we are on our way back home car number one is on the trailer you want see it can you see it guesses on what it is before you guys see the whole thing let me see does that one help what are we bringing home I'll show you when we get there we are back home did you guys guess what it was? There she is. Isn't that just a beautiful roached out rotted ride? We have a 1976 Dodge. Oh, am I pointing that the right direction? There we go. Monaco! Isn't that just a sweet two-door ride? This is where she's going to rest probably for a little bit. This thing is rotted, guys, um, and I knew that. The reason being, this was kind of negotiated into a deal on the other car that you're going to see in a video or two from now. Take a look. She's got some ugly, that's for sure. Walk around a little bit. Obviously, you guys know we'll get you... Uh, more in-depth look at this thing you can see there is just rust everywhere so why did I negotiate this one into the deal well this back bumper is good it doesn't have much for holes it's actually more solid than the front bumper this is actually in pretty nice shape so that obviously has some value whether I decide to sell it or hold on to it myself because I'm a bumper hoarder it has some pretty nice tires on the front. You can see they're kind of dry rotted and falling apart a little bit, but that doesn't really matter for us because we're going to tube them and maybe double them. I don't know. The front bumper, it isn't perfect. It's got some holes going on. Um, I haven't seen behind it, but we'll work on that. Um, so again, if I decide to take it off and this car doesn't get run, that's a good bumper for us or you know, a, a mid-sized car bumper or whatever if we cut it down a little bit. It's a good bumper. It's a, one that I would definitely be happy to run. So I figure tires, I mean, yeah, they need tubes in them, but that's probably still, what, $150 set of tires, um, maybe $100 if I needed to get rid of them fast. $100 bumper, $100 bumper, worst case scenario. Um, could probably sell them for more with as stupid as prices are on bumpers if I was going to sell them but you guys know that I'm I'm not real good at selling stuff so um, I would actually like to see this car get run um, and that may actually be a plan in the works I would not be driving it myself um, but if we can get this thing to run which I've been told it runs or it ran at least um, granted it's been three years but you can see the guy actually used this thing as a as a driver I'm going to show you the back here. It's still got the plates on it. 
last time she was registered. Expired March of 16. So I mean, this thing's been on the road, recent. And he said he didn't care. Holes and, and rusted. He's a derby guy. He enjoyed driving this thing around. And you know what? I don't blame him one bit. <laughs> I'd be doing the same thing. Um, I closed the hood before um, I got on the road, which unfortunately now I can't get it back open. So I'm going to have to work on getting that done. And then we'll give you guys a more in-depth look as we announce what the plan is for this. And we'll come out here and tinker with it. You guys probably want to see us try to get it running, right? So pay attention to that for future videos. Um, I gotta get back on the road and uh, go get the next one. Next trip, going to Merrill. Appreciate you following along as always. Get goosed.